Hi there, and uh, let's get to it. We're looking at the last available node type that we haven't explored yet, and that is the splitter combiner node, shortcut Alt-Y. I'm not going to lie to you, this is a very specialist node that you don't see employed very often, but it's still incredibly useful because it gives you individual access to each channel in your video. If I select my node right now and click Alt-Y, whoa, I generate five new nodes. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see better. And there's my original at the start, which then feeds the RGB information to the splitter node, which then breaks up the image into three nodes, each carrying just one channel. So that's red, green, blue in that order. After that, you have the combiner node that exists to receive channel information and then output that as a single image. If anyone's worked with channel-based workflows or photography before, they'll know that each color channel on its own is represented by a black and white image. Because of that, the color wheels and curves will have no impact to the chrominance of your image. Instead, what we'll be focusing on with these three are the luminance values. So by isolating the Y curve on the red node and increasing the luminance strength, I am now controlling how much red is in the midtones or how much red is removed from the midtones, which gives you an effect similar to simply using the red curve on a regular node. Increasing something like contrast might give you a slightly more interesting effect. Another thing you can affect is the position and size of the node using the sizing palette. So if I select my channel and ensure that the sizing is in node mode, then when I start to pan, I'll be splitting up that channel from the rest of the image. If I go to a different channel and do the same in the opposite direction, I might end up with a retro video look. This is quite a stylized purpose, of course, but it can be implemented practically if you're working with magnetic tape that's been digitized for archiving purposes and the channels don't line up. Uh, you can actually use the splitter combiner nodes to fix the misalignment in those channels. The last thing I'd like to take a look at is the prism effect vignette, or how you can create the illusion of using a retro lens with chromatic aberration. We begin with the regular node. You could add a bit of contrast or color correction if you like to the clip already. Then command Y to drop in the splitter combiner. Select any of the channels and using the node sizing, zoom in slightly just to throw off the channels a little bit. After that, you can throw an ellipse down on the channel, invert it and resize it to give it the shape of a vignette. Also make sure it's very, very soft on the edges to give it a smooth blend. And what this will give you is the illusion that you have an old lens distorting the chrominance as it enters the camera, but keeping the center sharp and clean. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.